Greetings, welcome to another month of Autoforge development. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, um, I have not been keeping up with this. Um, mostly it's because I haven't been as focused on development as I was before. And <clears throat> I've just been kind of dealing with that, you know, dealing with life stuff, dealing with uh, being motivated. And yeah, uh, so trying to get back into the groove of things. So I thought I would make a little recap video and show off what I have done over the last, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks since uh, the previous update. <clears throat> so, um, Let's just uh, jump into the game and I'll show you some of the things I've done and we'll just kind of keep it nice, short and sweet. So biggest thing you'll see, we have a character here uh, and we also have this arm moving around, whatever, just working on that stuff. We have uh, our character moving and walking, which is pretty cool. And you can see it actually looks okay. And then we have some jumping and you have your character actually, you know, changing states. We have a double jump and we also have a beautiful dodge roll that I implemented. <laughs> it's so ugly, but that's okay. Uh, and you can also see that our character is now composed of a rectangle and circle kind of combined and that helps with just like keeping us um, from being snagged on um, little terrain boxes and whatnot so yeah uh, that's really a lot of the development I've done uh, is just getting the character movement figured out trying to really uh, reconcile the fact that we're using box 2d and I wasn't really sure how to implement character movement with that. And it's it's working okay now. It's working okay. Um, another thing I've done is started working on combat. And you can see, uh, actually, I don't know if it's working anymore. It looks like it's not. It was like do, doing damage. I must have disabled that. I'll show it off the next stream or next uh, update. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's really is this, uh, working on character movement. It looks pretty good. I got this arm working, which is actually like a separate entity that's kind of being overlaid or attached to our character. And I just have it rotate to the cursor and yeah, um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, uh, if there's anything that you guys would like me to go into more detail about, you're welcome to post a comment and I'll read that and I can go into more detail on the future uh, update video since I know I'm like skipping over a lot of stuff. But yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.